everybody. Uh, and today's episode, we're going to be exploring a question. Um, you know, what is performance? Um, and, you know, is, is it an end onto itself? And I'm going to pass the ball to you, Akshay. Um, you know, how should we think about this question? You know, could you help us explore? Yeah, uh, so uh, this this way is all about, you know, like uh, the loving the process. It's, uh, you know, the end, you'll reach one. Uh, you know, it's not like, you know, we, we don't get uh, results. What result? That's the question for another day. So um, uh, like, uh, one, of the, like, one of the examples I want to use here, I used MS Dodi for yesterday's uh, thing. And today I want to use Virat Kohli. So uh, when he first got the captaincy and uh, he's one of the best Indian uh, test captain uh, that we have seen. And uh, the thing that made him a really good test captain is that uh, he was like, I want the best bowlers in the continent. I want the best spinners. I want the best fast bowlers. I want to take 20 wickets. I want the best batsmen. And uh, if I have all the best people with me, it doesn't matter uh, uh, you know, what, what test I'll be given. Uh, that you know, like uh, that doesn't uh, matter because I have the best. Even if we don't perform right away, I'm going to give these people like, like chance after chance after chance because we uh, we are called the best for a reason. These are the best that we have, and uh, this uh, the the moment we see that the process we've got these people, and we're going to believe in this process, and these people are going to like uh, shine at some point, and they have. Sh- they are done that. Uh, for example, like they they beat uh, Australia twice in their own turf. I believe they beat in uh, England, and uh, these are these usually be things that are like really hard. Uh, like because uh, like home advantage is like a big thing in cricket, uh, and uh, you know, Kohli was able to do that because it was all about the process. And uh, similarly, if uh, if you believe in the process, uh, even if you don't have a like a it's essentially saying that uh, you believe in the process and it, and the result will there will be it will be giving one result or the other so uh, you have like all your eyes in the in the process that any result that you get as long as they are like a positive you're going to be happy so you're going to keep getting happy every single time wow coming in hard extra coming in hard nice <laughs> No, I absolutely love that because I think in my experience too, it's accurate that, you know, when you focus on the performance itself, then you're just, you're much more grounded in what you're doing that way and bringing some philosophy in, you know, in Hindu philosophy, we, there's this quote from the Gita that says, mm. and it means you know focus on what you're doing and never ever think about the outcome or the result or what's going to happen what you're going to gain out of it and I really like living my life that way um, and for someone who is a perfectionist I think focusing on the process yields much more higher levels of comfort and accessibility than focusing on perfection in the outcome so I definitely think there are more pros to this. The cons might be that if you're someone who needs to achieve a particular objective that you've been avoiding and you, you know, you just, you might need to consider what's at stake and if you are being timely and if you can afford to ignore the impact or afford to not have some kind of uh, tangible target, that would be my only caution in that approach. I think uh, there's... It's. I think I just want to take this moment to discuss something serious. Um, do you guys follow the Olympics that happened this year, and the drama around you know uh, athletes quitting and stuff? I think uh, the key example was Simone Biles. It was it was very interesting to watch because she um, demonstrates what we're discussing right now, which is she was like, I am going to prioritize my long-term performance which means I have to quit this competition for the sh- sake of my mental health so as to optimize my long-term performance and I I, I think it is worth remembering um, again uh, to just take stock of what's important for long-term performance as as opposed to just some short-term outcome so uh, both your perspectives on um, you know focusing on the process is very critical and I and I appreciate you both sharing this 
Um, is, and, you know, just to make things fun, uh, do you guys have any closing thoughts that you'd like to share with our audience? I can go first. I, I would say that uh, of yesterday's strategy and today's strategy, I probably use today's strategy a lot more in my life. Wow. Uh, thank you for sharing that. And uh, Shreya, do you mind sharing, like, if, if you have any closing thoughts? Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, this entire week's discussion about evaluating performance psychology, some of the pitfalls that are present in approaches and how you can manage your anxiety or, you know, psychological biases that come up. So if you saw this video first and you haven't seen the others, be sure to go and check those out and keep a watch out for the topic that we will start covering tomorrow. And hey, most importantly, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for today. See you later. Oh, you're still here? Well, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Hey, while you're still here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get new updates when we post videos. Also, make sure to check out these equally exciting videos as well. Have you pressed it yet? Come on, you have five seconds left. Three, two, press it now.